Howdy, I am Janet Adams, your personal wine concierge. Today, we're talking about bubbles and sparkling wine and why we don't call it champagne. This video is about the basics of drinking sparkling wine, how to open a bottle, serve it, when to drink it, and what causes the bubble formation. Let's get started with knowing why we call it bubbles. First, the word bubbles is used synonymously with sparkling wine. Basically, wine that sparkles has fizz or even a slight bit of effervescence. The first thing to know about Champagne is that that's actually a region in France. Sparkling wine made outside of this region is just that, sparkling wine, or you can refer to it as bubbles. Let's learn how to open a bottle. So there are different ways that bottles are packaged. A lot of the bottles will have foil on the outside, as does this, well, this one does not actually. I thought I picked up one that did. So bottles that have the foil you'll first want to take that foil off and you you can use the knife on your corkscrew to get under that foil and to remove the foil so you'll first want to remove the foil and leave the cage on this cage this metal part is what protects the cork from coming out before it's time so then to take the cage off you untwist it and always point it away from you just so that there's not any accidents So once you take that cage off, then you can pull out the cork. And in sommelier school, they actually teach you not to pop the cork, but popping the cork is fun. So let's see what we do here. Woo, we did it. We opened our bottle of sparkling wine. This is the Galavant Bubbly White. This is from the North Coast of California. And this is a carbonated wine. You can see those bubbles in there sparkling, moving up to the top. And truth be told, that's the first time I've ever opened a bottle of sparkling wine. So there's a first for everything. I'm going to pour some up so I can enjoy while we are talking about it. I have some other ones here, um, a okay, Fico um, and canned options too. So. Back to our video. Now that we know how to open it, how do we serve it? It's best to serve sparkling wine or bubbles at about 40 degrees and to refrigerate, refrigerate about six hours before serving. So now, how does it get those bubbles? It's through a fermentation method. Sparkling wine is produced using the traditional method. In this method, yeast is added to the bottle after the initial fermentation, and then the secondary fermentation takes place. This process is what creates the bubbles in wine. The traditional method, the bubbles are finer and smoother, like a string of pearls dancing on your tongue. So the irony here is that I have a food science degree, a master's, and during my thesis, I actually did my thesis research on the bubble formation of flour tortillas about the leavening. So it was a chemical leavening process in flour tortillas, for two years, I studied bubble formation. And now, again, 20 years later, I am studying bubble formation, but in wine. Much more fun. So back on topic, Scout & Cellar has several options for bubbles, ranging from the different bottles that I showed you, the cans, and when's the best time to drink bubbles? Well, any time. As we have here, our box that says, celebrate the everything. Celebrate every day. And that's what we believe at Scout & Cellar. Celebrating um, every day is a reason to celebrate. And so drinking bubbles any day is the right time to drink bubbles. It also makes a great host or hostess gift because sometimes you don't know if somebody will like red or white wine. Bubbles is fun and most people like it and it pairs well with almost any food. So you can't go wrong bringing bubbles to a party, starting off a celebration or just drinking it any day to simply celebrate the day. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos about wine. I am Janet Adams, your personal wine concierge.